Hello, Apple Advantage students. I hope everybody is having a good week. It's uh, Friday, January 18th. I'm getting this video ready at least a little bit early because I know this weekend is going to be a busy weekend and uh, we're going to hopefully the uh, Chiefs can get a win here in the AFC Championship game. So we'll see if that happens. But anyway, with this week in Module 3, um, we're going to do a little bit of focus on PowerPoint. So you have an assignment out there, an assessment where I'm going to ask you to go into um, a document and follow the directions. Uh, you'll get the directions in the PowerPoint Reassessment Advantage document, but you use the PowerPoint Ethics and should be pretty straightforward. If you need some help, uh, go out to websites. I put a link out there for help on PowerPoint. Some of you may already be familiar with some of these uh, features, such as transitions or kind of bringing thing in, things in a PowerPoint one line at a time. Time. So it's going to ask you to do some of those things, and if you have questions on it, uh, do send me an email. The other major assignment this week is a brief writing assignment. That's a two-page writing assignment. And uh, again, um, everybody did pretty much a good job in that uh, first APA assignment, but I want you to kind of get it uh, cleaned up a little bit more this week. So if you have any questions, do email me. But use that sample paper I put out there, the Barnhill Sample Paper, to help guide you. That's a good format, a two-page paper. Uh, this week, I do want you to use at least one source or in-text citation. Obviously, the article um, that you're reviewing is one of them, but I'd like you to get another outside source, too. So whatever technology trend that you pick, uh, you're going to talk about that and use an in-text citation. So this is where we want you to use that little yellow book that you got in this course. Uh, I think also going to Purdue Al's website. Um, you can look at my sample paper, you know, little little things like making sure the first page says writing head and then your title and then page number in the right-hand corner and having the cover page. And uh, if you're going to do anything in, in text citation, make sure that there's a reference for it. Uh, you'll notice little things in the reference page, like uh, for titles, only the first letter is capitalized. So we want you to get more accustomed to doing APA. Uh, it's a standard for any institution, college, university, and if you go on to graduate level work, uh, it's going to be an expectation. So we want you to do that. And the other thing I'd say about your paper is pick something you're interested in. You can pick something that ties to healthcare too. I'd be interested to read about that. But you're going to inform the reader a little bit more about this uh, subject. And then I want you at the end, um, what does this mean? Uh, how does this apply to you at work? Why is this significant? So think about that as wrapping up your conclusion. And if you do have any questions about the APA formatting or any questions about the paper, uh, do email me too. But best to kind of work on these things earlier in the week so you can get started. If you need to send me a rough draft uh, by, say, like Friday, I can still look at something and give some feedback to you. So that was pretty much uh, it for this week. And uh, our course is moving quickly right along. But I want you to uh, have a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you online. Take care.